Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. He was known as Se Acatl Topiltzin Quetzalcoatl to the Toltecs in present-day Mexico and Cuculcan to the Maya people. Some believe he is also the same as Viracocha of the Incas in present-day Peru and Pajana of the Hopi people living in the United States. As a physical manifestation of the highest God, Lord Quetzalcoatl was both a just king and a venerated enlightened master who lived around the 9th or 10th centuries AD. Described as being light-skinned and blonde, Lord Quetzalcoatl taught his people agriculture, astronomy, the arts and trade, etc. He emphasized peace, compassion for all beings, and the worship of God. It is no surprise that Tula, the center of his kingdom, flourished under the leadership of their founding hero and civilizer. But as it is often the case that enlightened masters face obstacles in this dark world, Lord Quetzalcoatl, who himself had never done any wrong, was unjustly exiled from Tula. The priest king traveled to many other places, touching countless lives with his divine wisdom and benevolence. Numerous legends throughout the Mesoamerican region hold traces of his precious teachings, some of which were recorded in texts known as Huehuetlatoli, meaning ancient words. During a visit to Mexico, where the great Quetzalcoatl once taught and lived, Supreme Master Ching Hai shared the following. The Mexican people have a very high spiritual maybe because uh, the ancient uh, ancestors of uh, this country has been a race of spiritual beings. We are all descending from the spiritual realm, that's no doubt. But in so great, they are more reminded, more practicing. Maybe your country has the fortune, the privilege to be emerged in more spiritual intelligence than some other country. Maybe that's why some uh, of your spiritual brahmin still left all today, like the Kirati or the teaching of the great uh, master, either one or some God. But even then, the atmosphere of spirituality was never lost, always restless in the air. So it blessed the country and the people. I just read some of the master teaching today, just a little bit, <laughs> but it's so beautiful, so beautiful. It speaks the language of love, of poetry, of heaven, the language of the master. I have found that many great masters they speak almost similar language. Seacatl en alguna ocasión cantó, donde los caracoles hacen eterna música, donde resuenan las trompas y vibra el atabal, donde danzan los músicos del sol en su alegría. Allá quiero ir, contigo, madre y padre mío. From his eloquent words, we can tell that Quetzalcóatl also thought the Quan Yin method of contemplating on the inner heavenly light and sound, the same method of enlightenment imported today by Supreme Master Ching Hai. Un maestro, abre nuestros oídos, nos ilumina, es guía de guías y ofrece un camino. De él, 
uno depende. The word or the sound of God is always omnipresent. But if our heavenly ear, our inner man are not awakened, we cannot hear. So at the time of initiation, the master will help you to awaken this inner man or inner ear and repair the communication system so the inner man can contact with God again and receive instruction and grace. Following are a few of the many other resemblances we found between the teachings of Supreme Master Ching Hai and Quetzalcoatl. Durante el día, estudiad los libros divinos, conversad con vuestro corazón y ejercitaos en las artes y oficios. Por las noches, velad, cantad, alabanzas hasta el alba y jamás faltéis al baño nocturno. Converse with your heart is the way the Quan Yin initiates Du, reciting silently in the heart the names of the Lord even while practicing their mundane occupation, arts and crafts, and during the night they meditate, praising the Lord and bathing in His blessing. Just be awake at night. Yeah? Mm. That's the time when the most blessing is coming. And if you are more awake, that means your soul is still here, you know, not gone away. And it receives blessing into the soul. Understand? If the soul is elsewhere, then maybe in another world or, or just, uh, <laughs> just not aware, then uh, the blessing is less. Yeah, because when you sleep, the soul is one hour. During the uh, initiation, perhaps, you were told that you should meditate uh, in the morning, huh? or bedtime before you go to bed. Because most people work in the daytime. So the best time before you face the world is in the morning. And the best time to cleanse is uh, in the evening. See, cleanse the whole day's kind of influence before you go to bed. Concéntrate únicamente en Ometeotl, Dios. El nombre y la gloria de Aquel que todo lo puede es el único que causa gozo. Concentrate only on God, enlightenment, deeper level of consciousness and happiness. Because the deeper you go, the more you're happy, the more enlightened, and the more intelligent, the more uh, blissful, and then you can deal with all kinds of problems, if, if any problem. aceptes lo que no mereces, ni reclames lo que no es tuyo, ni abuses de lo que no has creado. The five precepts required for the disciples of Supreme Master Ching Hai. 1. Refrain from harming or taking the life of sentient beings. 2. Refrain from speaking what is not true. 3. Refrain from taking what is not yours. 4. Refrain from sexual misconduct. 5. Refrain from using intoxicants. So God created all beings and let them die naturally. So should we. If we couldn't create, at least we do not destroy. The commandment in the Bible is, Thou shall not kill. It didn't say you shall not kill humans only. It says thou shall not kill. Anything killed is killed. Amar 
amaos los unos a los otros. Ayudaos en la necesidad con la manta y el braguero, la joya, el salario y el alimento. Guess what, brotherly love is for, okay? Yeah, it may be your turn next. You gotta help each other. It boils down only to that. Inside, get to know ourselves. Outside, help others. Very simple, yeah? Mm. Because you want to know yourself more, so you came here. Huh? Because you want to help others, so you help a, the Homeless, nah, the disaster victims and SMTV, yeah. So very simple life. Hmm? Inside, know yourself. Outside, help others. Help all the beings. All the beings. beings not just humans, but animals. Yeah, insects. Master Quetzalcoatl gathered his followers on the sandy seashore, climbed on top of a stone, and announced a prophecy that began like this. Solo vine a prepararme un camino. Ahora he de marchar. Mas no temáis. No me voy para siempre. Eternamente escucharéis mi voz. No lloréis por el príncipe partido, porque os he dejado mis palabras y mis joyas. Lord Quetzalcoatl tells his followers that his time has come to ascend to heaven, but he comforts them with the assurance of his return, while reminding them that his words and jewels, the inner and outer teachings, will be with them forever. 
today, while millions still wait for Se Acatl Quetzalcoatl, our association members are joyful knowing that he has already reappeared, for the beloved king of the Toltecs was one of the past incarnations of Supreme Master Jin Hai. Hace un año estaba viendo un documental acerca de Quetzalcoatl. Antes de eso yo sabía poco acerca de esa antigua civilización. Cuando explicaron que Quetzalcoatl era un dios amoroso y compasivo, con habilidades sobrehumanas, que viajaba a muchos lugares a enseñar técnicas de cultivo y compartía todo con todos, pensé que era como mi maestra. Luego, al final, mencionaron que Quetzalcoatl prometió volver a salvar a todos llevándolos con él. En ese momento lo supe con seguridad. La maestra suprema Chin Hai fue Quetzalcoatl en una de sus vidas pasadas, porque yo estaba sintiendo mucha felicidad y gratitud y un tipo de confirmación de la liberación, confirmación de que ella siempre estará, y sentí la seguridad de que ella cumplirá sus promesas. Cuando estaba viendo el programa de televisión, tuve una visión o revelación. Pude ver a nuestra amada maestra suprema Chin Hai viajando a través de Latinoamérica. Pude verla acompañada de una persona y con muchos seguidores, quienes la veían con admiración. Fue una confirmación de que la maestra suprema Chin Hai estuvo en México en esa vida, específicamente en Yucatán. Y algunas de las preguntas de por qué ahí existen varias líneas de bendición fueron aclaradas para mí. La maestra suprema Chin Hai también ha expresado que ella se siente muy bien cuando visita Cancún, México. Saber que la maestra suprema Chin Hai tiene una conexión especial con México y que ella le prometió a nuestros ancestros regresar y llevarnos con ella llena mi corazón de amor y alegría. En otro momento, mientras estaba meditando, la maestra me explicó que el contrato que firmé antes de venir a la tierra abarca varias vidas, como un plan o estrategia, y se apega al más grande plan de la maestra suprema Chin Hai de salvar almas, extendiendo la afinidad de la maestra con las almas a través de los discípulos, para ayudar a las almas que no tuvieron ninguna oportunidad de conocerla en vidas pasadas. his followers continued, Master Quetzalcoatl revealed the wonders he would do in his future coming. Alegraos, se acerca un nuevo día, el día magnífico de radiante hermosura. Cuando a mi rostro tenga que regresar, entonces me veréis. En ese día comprenderéis las razones divinas. Levantaré mi cosecha y recogeré lo sembrado. Entonces desaparecerá para siempre la bestia maligna y vosotros podréis caminar en paz. Through her continuous reincarnations on earth, Supreme Master Ching Hai has sown the seeds of affinity as well as the seeds of her teachings to help countless beings. Now, the special time has come for the final harvest as she takes up all souls to an unprecedented level of consciousness. Then, said Lord Quetzalcoatl, the evil beast will disappear forever and you will be able to walk in peace. Yunchu 感谢师父的恩典，内心深深的爱与敬佩，献给伟大神圣的您，台湾霍福尔摩沙子轩。Ah, by the way, you know what? Maya is gone. 
forgot to tell you. Ah. Oh, I like that very much. Wow, a lot of work, but I really cannot bear that guy anymore. I know everything is illusion for me, but for all the beings, they're not illusion. They are in true suffering, pain, sorrow, anguish, untold, untold misery. And he always interfered with my job also. But still, uh, not like completely clean. It's the beginning of heaven kind of energy. cherished viewers for joining us today. Please tune in again next week for more evidence confirming the return of the king. Coming up is Animal Kind, Remarkable Discoveries with Ingrid Nuker, Vegan, Part 3 of 3, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television.